President Trump promised to sign additional aid for Iowans affected by the derecho. KCCI's Chris Gostner is live at the Eastern Iowa Airport where the president met briefly with the state's top officials. Chris? Yeah, Stacey, this was a last minute addition to the president's schedule. He remained here at the airport for a little more than an hour, promising help. Took a big uh, chunk out of your entire state. After landing in Cedar Rapids just before noon Tuesday, a week and a day after a severe storm pummeled this city and others in the Hawkeye State, President Trump promised to help rebuild. Iowans have always been resilient and strong and tough and great people from the depths of this grave hardship. We will rebuild even stronger than before. We're going to be in fantastic. The president heard from top officials, including the mayors of Cedar Rapids and Marion, Governor Reynolds and Senators Ernst and Grassley. I've seen corn flat on the ground in my 50 years of farming, but I have never seen it mile after mile. The president promised help to those farmers whose fields were flattened. A big ask was for the president to approve the rest of Governor Reynolds disaster request. On Monday, he approved $45 million for repairs to government buildings and utilities, but he has not yet approved the individual assistance portion. More than 82 million would help cover some destroyed or damaged homes. More than 3.7 billion would cover agriculture damage. The president indicated he plans to sign it. The papers are done. You're going to look into this sure. one event yes, sir. quickly and we'll get that approved. OK, some Cedar Rapids residents have criticized the time it's taken to get aid. But till we talk to today, say they're happy to hear about federal help. I think it could have come faster, but I mean, hey, we can't do anything about it. We got a lot of help from a bunch of different states and we do appreciate President Trump for helping us out also. Now, one official the president didn't hear from today is Congresswoman Abby Finkenauer from the 1st District. She represents Cedar Rapids in the U.S. House. She was not invited to this roundtable today, but she did say she appreciated the president's visit and hopes that he listened to Iowans. Her opponent, State Representative Ashley Hinson, Republican, was present today.